do not, I repeat, do not attend events that are specifically geared to awaken your psychic abilities. Man, I did not think I was gonna do a video on this today. Also, there's construction going on in the background, but um, just so y'all know, apologies for that. Hi y'all, so today's topic is a little bit impromptu. If you're new here, my name is Caitlin. I am a psychic channel and ascension mentor. Good grief, what are they cutting over there? So we are going to be discussing something fairly ir irresponsible within the spiritual community. And I was brought to my attention that this, this was a big issue because clients started coming to me for assistance with it. So today we're going to be discussing group sessions geared towards opening your channeling abilities. And just to start off y'all, if you or someone you know is experiencing this, it is not their fault in the slightest. There is a major lack of integrity within the spiritual community. Okay, new background. Hopefully the sound is less here because they are making a lot of noise in their construction. As a psychic, it is our job to help others seeking assistance with the utmost integrity and opening everyone up to everything without guidance or that really guidance there to help them through it is not how we do that. So why is this dangerous exactly? Let's look at frequency. Well, when we forcibly open up our upper chakras, we become ungrounded because this process is supposed to occur naturally. When our upper chakras become too open, we basically become an open channel because they are not at the same level as our root, creating this ungroundedness. So we are basically going to be tapping into everything around us without any idea how to control it. And the kicker is these groups don't even give you the tools that you need to ground back into yourself and manage these abilities. And so now you need someone external like myself to help you bring you back down into your body and manage these frequencies. I have had clients who are spontaneously trance channeling beings without consent, tapping into timelines of traumatized souls, outwardly channeling them. Individuals who are tapping into very scary prophetic timelines without any way to decrease their sensations individuals who experience everything from everywhere without any way to control it. When your channel becomes open prematurely, this can create a strain on your soul consciousness cord attached to your physical body. And this strain makes you a beacon for these spirits to channel through. So yesterday I experienced a, a poltergeist type situation after assisting one of my clients with this type of situation. And so this poltergeist was basically a wanderer that severely lost its sense of self, but that is a topic for another video. I did just want to note here that this, um, looking back at the situation that occurred yesterday at my end at my house, um, it's a little bit humorous for me, humorous to what I experienced. I am not laughing at what um, my client overall experienced because it is definitely a bit um, troublesome. So basically my lights were flickering. I was burning sage and it was popping off like fireworks embers going everywhere. Everyone in my household's crown chakras were tingling like crazy. Y'all this working for the faint of heart. It's all good though. Definitely keeps things interesting up in here. So basically we were able to cross this spirit over, give it the closure it needed and send it into its next life's journey, which was a beautiful experience. But y'all, please do not attend any of these group meetings geared towards awakening your psychic abilities. You will very likely need to seek out help from another individual to help get you at a level state. Pay more money to get that energy work done within yourself. And I really don't want you to have to do that. And to the individuals hosting these classes and courses, do y'all know how irresponsible this is? 
psychic awakenings need to happen organically and naturally at the state of the individual because everyone's frequency is different. This is something that cannot be forced. It cannot be commercialized. Your lower chakras must be at a level state with that of your crown and third eye in order to have a clear channel. It is not something that can be fully awakened within one session. It takes work on all levels. And so that really is my goal on this platform to bring groundedness back into spirituality. It is not all love and light. When we are grounded, we can begin to awaken ourselves not needing to pay an external source to to an extent awaken your psychic abilities for you then to an extent pay another individual to to an extent assist with leveling out those energies it can all be done within yourself only you and this process of bringing you back into your vessel can sometimes take multiple sessions multiple sessions because Overall, needing to bring you back into your body, needing to re-strengthen your cord to your own vessel. It needs to all be reversed. And so final note here, please do not attend these gatherings. The best thing that you can do is releasing the trauma stored within your lower chakras. Now, I do assist with this, the idea of bringing you back into your vessel, your body, as well as to an extent clearing your chakras so that you can overall work to awaken yourself. But again, I want you to get to a space where you don't need me. It is all within you because it is all you, boo-boo. My phone died before I could film an outro, but... If you enjoy this kind of content, like and follow for more daily psychic content. And with that, goodbye!